It's been 25 years since the great storm of 1987 saw winds devastate areas of southern Britain. Yes, as Carol was showing us earlier, they uprooted trees, ripped the roofs off buildings, even caused 18 people to lose their lives. Could it happen again, or have advances in forecasting reduced the chances of a storm coming without any warning? BBC weatherman Nick Miller has been finding out. It's been raining for most of us, but rather optimistic... The presenters are different, the technology and graphics are more sophisticated, but the aim of a weather forecast is the same as it was in 87, accuracy. Fewer showers compared with elsewhere. Get it right, no one notices. Get it wrong, no one forgets. Who would think that I'd be starring in the Olympic opening ceremony? Today, apparently a woman rang the BBC and said she heard that there was a hurricane on the way. Well, if you're watching, don't worry, there isn't. <laughs> Michael Fish insists he was talking about a hurricane heading for Florida. Nevertheless, that night, the UK experienced one of its worst storms on record. 18 people died, 15 million trees were uprooted, and winds reached 115 miles per hour. The weather will become very windy, but most of the strong winds, incidentally, will be down over Spain. The true and power of that storm wasn't realised until it was too late. You can't blame anybody. I, mean, I certainly wasn't to blame. The computer, of course, is the thing that did the forecast. But you can't blame that either because it was unfortunate that the computer lacked a huge amount of data from the area that the storm was developing. On the face of it, there's no problem with computer data now. Here at Met Office HQ in Exeter, millions have been spent on these supercomputers, performing trillions of calculations a second, and all with the one aim, getting that forecast spot on. So these are some of the charts from 1987. Back then, they weren't instant. They came in every three hours, whereas now we can get them every 15 minutes. And of course, they're instant on your computer. A four-day forecast today is as accurate as a one-day forecast was back in 1987. Now, that's an incredible improvement. So you can stand up with your um, farming forecast or your country file forecast on a Sunday and have much more confidence in the week ahead than we had uh, back in '87. Even if the Met Office missed something, there are now many other sources to check on the next big storm. But for those just starting their forecasting careers, challenges still remain. Benedetta Dini was born in 1987. We do have a lot of data that we can so much to our hands that people expect from us a lot of detail as well. So, I mean, I think the challenges are different, but there are still quite a lot. With all the investment in weather technology, it seems unthinkable that a storm of this magnitude could be missed again. But as every forecaster will tell you, never say never. Nick Miller, BBC News.